The deputy head of the United Nations Mission to Protect Hodeida Agreement visited for the first time the southern districts in the city. It aims at inspecting the impact of the war on civilians. The local authority officials were there to receive her. This report has more details. The deputy head of the Omaha has witnessed an example of the Houthi war, who are the victims of mines that paid the price of the unjust Stockholm Agreement with their lives and blood. These are the most prominent crimes of the Houthi group in the areas they control, deliberately bombing service and educational facilities and water projects in a manner of condemned terrorism. Will the UN mission report these violations to the international community? All will it remain silent as usual. Until now, Unmaha hasn't opened the road for the Yemenis. It takes two days if anyone wants to travel from Al Jarrahi to Al Khawqa. However, the distance between them is only five minutes. What have people waiting for since 2018? Unma have failed to provide us even with an ambulance plane for patients. The visit, according to what the visitor and her delegation confirm, aims to assess the humanitarian situation, while in reality, the people of Hodeida, whether in the Houthi controlled areas or in the liberated areas, didn't see any solutions that would save them from this war, neither claiming the situation nor stopping the Houthi escalation, while the beneficiary of this agreement is the militia which practices various types of abuse against the people of Tehama, in full view of the United Nations and the international community. Let me say that I'm really pleased to be here in the southern districts of Hudeida, and I thank very much uh, the authorities for having welcomed us here. Uh, as everybody knows, we are here to work with you, to support you in any way we can. And we are now deploying more uh, capacity to these areas and it's really important to have had a tour today and to see what your challenges are. This visit to the liberated areas is the first for Unmaha since it received its mission in 2018. Since the Stockholm Agreement, which was imposed on grounds, exacerbated the suffering of civilians and cut off roads, while the people of Hodeida today see this agreement implemented in service for the militia and serving the foreign agenda that want to duplicate the war against Yemen and the Yemenis.